and welcome back to Minecraft Survival Season 3. So we are in 1.19, and we got through two days in our last episode. But with that being said, we need to start looking at our next project, which will be finding a base of some kind. So I'm not wanting to stay around here. I'm actually wanting to find one of the new biomes. Um, but still stay in a way that if I log on and I don't have my maps enabled, I'll be able to find it. So we're going to go ahead and pass this way and see if we can find any interesting biomes or a place that really shouts here's a good place for a base for me. We are still in the plains. We're sort of following this. It's either a lake or it's going to be an ocean. I'm not quite sure. Seems to be more of an ocean. Maybe collect some more sh wool. And keep going. Okay, so that's cool. I like how we get this look right here. Where the regular ocean water meets the warm ocean water. And because the two waters are two different colors, you get sort of a definitive line in between. Which means we could find some else. If that's a lukewarm ocean, we won't have much luck. But if it's a warm ocean, we may get some coral in there too, which will be nice for some of our builds. There's a couple of redstone builds that require coral. Especially if you're going to make a TNT deeper or something like that. Oh my goodness, and that is a good sized one too. Oh, let's not fall into the lava. I almost rock straight into it. But right up here we have... I guess I'm not mistaken. That is a mangrove swamp. Which is the new biome for 1.19. And I'm seeing a couple of extra options. We can build a here. The island isn't bad, but I think it's not quite big enough. So let's get over here by the swamp and see what all is open over here. There's a small opening over here as well. on land. This doesn't seem too bad. Savannah isn't my favorite, but it wouldn't take too much to clean out these trees. It seems like a somewhat decent place to go ahead and do that. Let's follow this coastline a little bit. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, I like the sand over here. Oh my goodness. Well, this makes it a toss up. I really like the location over here. There's just one simple problem. That. So that is a ocean monument, which means but over here is probably not the best idea. Um, now over here might be a little bit better. But I can't remember. You want to be so far away from your monument. And yeah, you can definitely see it on the map. Um, it's in the corner. Or it's on that side. 
So I'm thinking more over here, and then we have more room to work with this alcove-like area over here, is what I'm thinking. But let's see, if we go down a little bit farther beyond that ocean monument, what are we going to see? I've got a build sort of in mind, which I'm glad we found the mangrove swamp because it does have a lot to do with mangroves. Um, I really like their wood. But I haven't completely decided yet. bad over here. Got another savannah. Not my favorite biome in the world. Um, in my opinion, savannah glass, grass just looks a bit, um, ooh, okay, that I like. It looks a bit dull, but if you've got a bright enough build, it's not too bad. Well, let's see. Um, a cave right over here. Very small one. Got a lukewarm ocean over here, which is why the grass is a different color. But I definitely like the look of things over here. So... up here isn't too bad. As much as I would like to do something with those islands over there, um, with that ocean monument being so close. Well, it's close enough to be seen, but I don't think it's close enough. We aren't actively spawning mobs there, are we? Doesn't look like it. Even if I did something on the shore over here, I shouldn't have to worry about it too much. Okay, we'll go back on over here. Um, I'm liking this spot over here just a little bit more, despite it being the savannah. And so I think we're going to go with the spot over here. The grass is nice. It's got the overlook. It's right out from the guardi the ocean monument. I think I have decided. Yeah, definitely decided. Okay, with that being said, we need to gather some resources. So, this actually works into the type of build I wanted to do for this. With the mangrove swamp, um, it's nice, but with us being in the swamp, I didn't want us to do a humongous house upwards. Um, I'm thinking of more of a downward space. And with the water, especially right here, we can do a semi-underground base as well. I think that'll be a good, an excellent idea. So let's go ahead and drop one of these over here. 
empty a lot of this inventory on into it. Go ahead and set that down and we're gonna forge a stone axe and I like the way this looks so I don't want to take down a whole bunch of this right here and so we're gonna head on back over here and we're gonna clear some of this over here I think thing about the mangroves and we are going to pick up some of a lot of this um mud as well here in a little bit too um the starter base i came up with is distinctly built for the mangrove swamp um so i want to make sure we get as much of that resource as possible
there was a bit of a time elapse and unfortunately we've got most of the materials for what we are going to do for our build um we are missing a couple of very important ones and that is going to cause me to go ahead and head back towards the plane over here um for the rest of our builds the main things that I, the, for the rest of the, the build the main thing i need is some more coal and then most importantly is i need some wheat um which means we are going to have to start off the farm pretty quick so i'm going to go gather some seeds and we'll be back in just a moment And with that, we are back. So, go ahead and get out our wooden hoe. That's a nice underground cover. I'm gonna head on over this way. There's some space. And there we go. So now we've just got to wait for that to grow before we can move on to a bunch of other things. So, thank you for watching this episode of Minecraft Survival Season 3. And I will see you guys on the next wonderful Minecraft day. This is Amethyst64 signing off.